Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you some USB related tweaks to help reduce your USB latency and delay. Make sure to like and subscribe before I start the video as I will be posting videos every Monday at 5 p.m. East. So the first thing I want to talk about is configuring your USB devices properly. To do this, we're just going to go look in device manager and then you're going to go over to view and then devices by connection. When you're in here, you want to look for your USB host controller. If you do have another like PCIe USB port, you want to unplug the devices that are in there and put them into your USB controller. This is because PCIe USB ports usually have more latency than your USB hub, but yeah. You want to expand your USB host controller and then your USB root hub. You want to make sure that your mouse, keyboard, controller, whatever you play on is in your USB root hub. If they are in your generic USB hub, you want to plug them into another port because you don't want to be using this. If you do use this though, because maybe you have too much devices or something and you don't have any more USB ports, make sure you put something that's not important in this, like a webcam or a headset or something. But if you don't use this at all and you don't need it at all either, you could just right click it and disable it because you don't want to be using this hub. As for USB root hub right here, you want to make sure all your devices are underneath this one. You could right click some of these devices as well, go to properties, power management, and uncheck this box right here, it's just a power saving. Now another thing I want to cover is MSI utility. To get this tool, all you have to do is join my Discord server, link in the description below, and then go to Programs, MSI Utility, and download it. But once you have it downloaded, you just want to run it as administrator. And once you run it as administrator, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Some of you guys may be familiar with this tool already. What some of you guys also may do is just check MSI, thinking that it's the best for everything, and you might also put interrupt priority on I. But as for interrupt priority, you want to keep this all on undefined. You don't want to set this to high. You want your system to handle it properly. And another thing too, is that for your USB hub, certain devices and your USB hub in general are just made for line based interrupts and MSI isn't really implemented that well. So I really recommend that you test MSI on and off for this as it varies for each system. But yeah, that's just something I wanted to cover as it's not known in the community that much. Now another thing I want to cover is affinities. What a lot of people do is they just mindlessly set affinities or they'll set affinities to the least used core on latency mon. But the issue with this in general, no matter what you set it for, is that some games, big title games like Fortnite, Valorant, COD, CSGO, they usually put most of the game's processing on one core. They don't evenly split the processing among each core. And so, Fortnite for example, I have RTSS running on the top left. You can see some cores on 6-8% and then you'll see core 3 all the way up at 86-90%. And that's the reason why they don't split the processing among each core evenly. And the issue with this is that games, they don't set a specific core to run on each time you start up. They usually select the core randomly. And so the reason why I recommend you remove all affinities is because say you set your affinity to your USB hub at core 7. And then the game just chooses to run most of its processing on core 7. You'll get decreased performance on your USB hub and your game by doing that. So I really recommend you remove all of your affinities. To do this, you can download the interrupt affinity policy tool. You should know how to use this by now if you do set affinities. But you would find your USB controller, mine is all the way down here. And then you would click set mask and then select all. You might have like two cores set or whatever. Just click select all so you make sure you don't have any affinities and it's evenly split and then press okay and then you could restart your device. I'm not going to do that now. But I also recommend you do this for your GPU and network adapter too. But for your USB hub, you want to make sure that you don't have any affinity set for it because you don't want the game to be running most of its processing on the same core as your USB hub. Okay, the next thing I want to show you are some power plant related settings that affect your USB input. To change these, you need Power Settings Explorer. To get this, you, all you have to do is join my Discord server, link in the description below and then go to Power Settings Explorer and download it. But once you get it downloaded, you want to run it as administrator. And in here, you'll see a bunch of power plant settings. You want to make sure that the hidden ones are unchecked for the settings I'm going to tell you. 
The ones you want to uncheck are USB selective suspend setting, USB 3 link power management, IO collacing timeout, and interrupt steering mode. Once you have them unchecked, you want to go over to edit power plan in your window search. Go to power options right here. Make sure you're at the one that you have selected already. Change plan settings, change advanced power settings. Now once you're in here, you want to go to USB settings right here. USB selective suspend setting, you want to make sure that this is disabled. USB 3 link power management, you want to make sure that's off. Click apply. Auto resiliency, you want to make sure IO coalescing timeout is set to zero. And for interrupt steering settings, you want to make sure that if you have a configured system, that you set this to default. If you don't have a configured system, as in you don't really know what you're doing, you're just running tweaks or you're just doing whatever on your system, you should really try testing out processor one as this could help your interrupts a bit. But if you do have a configured system, leave this on default. But majority of you guys, I really recommend making it on processor one. But yeah, those are just some power settings that affect your USB input. That's what I have for you guys in today's video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and also join my Discord server. If you have any suggestions on what more future content I should make, let me know in my Discord server again. But yeah, that's it for today. See you guys in the next one.